So how can we know whether assessment materials provide accurate results? That's what we want to know. Is what we're doing distinguishing a difference, something else, from a true disability? IDEA, the federal law, requires that evaluation materials be valid and reliable. Seems pretty straightforward. There's the site in case any of you want to look that up. Let me give you an example. Valid and reliable. So here's a test I'm going to give you. I am a research scientist and I am testing, doing some experiments on this little cricket I have on my hand. Now there's no cricket here. This is just, just, just fantasy, hypothetical. So this cricket's on my hand and I say to the cricket, jump! And the cricket jumps. I take off one leg, I say jump! And the cricket, pretty good job. Now they're like, now they're like, I'm doing jump in between. Finally we're down to where the cricket only has one leg and I say jump! And the cricket hardly moves at all. Finally I take off the last leg, I say jump! Cricket doesn't move at all. The scientist says, aha! When a cricket loses its legs, it loses its ability to hear. Now what's wrong with my conclusion? It makes sense. It's what we see. What's the problem? It's not valid. We took information that we saw, then we said, you know what, I'm going to create causation. So what I see is related to what I think I'm seeing, which is an inability to hear. Of course, the reason the cricket did not jump, because it didn't have any legs, and you need legs to jump. There's the causation. How about this? Nutrition and health. Here's the final word on nutrition. Now here's the truth after all those medical reports. Now you better hope that this works, because we are going to have some serious, serious next meal, if this is true, what I'm going to tell you now. The Japanese eat very little fat and suffer fewer heart attacks than the British or Americans. The French eat a lot of fat and also suffer fewer heart attacks than the British or Americans. The Japanese drink very little red wine and suffer fewer heart attacks than the British or Americans. And the Italians drink excessive amounts of red wine and also suffer fewer heart attacks than the British or Americans. So my conclusion is eat and drink what you like. Speaking English is apparently what kills you. I only wish that were the case, but it's not. So why else might British and Americans have higher heart attacks, uh, incidents of heart attacks than the Japanese and the French and the Italians? Well, it could be. Our portions are huge. We're more stressed. We. Uh, eat more of everything versus just more red wine, as maybe the Italians do. So again, the validity problem is we take something that seems to fit together, fit it together, make a conclusion, but it has no validity. The connection is not valid. 